Hey guys, it's Nuno. So lately I've been playing a lot uh, Stardew Valley. Um, and today I'm bringing you guys a video about the best seeds for uh, spring. Now, this is from my first save game, so I'm already in the second year in this game. And um, this will allow me to at least show you guys what I believe are the best seeds for uh, spring. So let's go, for now, let's go to Pierre's shop where I can show you guys um, the best, the, at least the five best seeds that you can buy. So let's go here. Um, on the fifth place, I would say that the these ones, the parsnip seeds, are very good seeds. Maybe one of the best seeds you can uh, use on on spring. Now, most of you guys probably will be now asking why, because this this these parsnip seeds they they don't give you that much profit. I mean, yes, it costs you 20 gold, but uh, in the end, the normal um, the normal product it will cost around 35 gold and yes it's not that much of a profit but then again these seeds they only take four days to mature and they're the, the cheapest uh, seeds you can get for spring having that in mind um, and if you guys do uh, like a huge um, field of only parsnip seeds you're gonna get a lot of uh, parsnips to sell and therefore you're gonna get a lot of money so in my opinion parsnip seeds are probably the best ones for your first year to start the game because they will allow you to have um, very fast profit you know you're not gonna have a huge amount of profit that's true you're not gonna have that but you're gonna make a lot of money out of it now um, the second one I want to talk about uh, about the co uh, about the the best seeds for uh, spring is one that many people say and it's called the cauliflower seeds. Now, these seeds they're a bit more expensive, so they cost around 80 gold. Uh, it takes 12 days. It takes 12 days to mature and and produce a um, cauliflower, um, and uh, the you will sell it around so it costs 80 gold and you will sell it around 175 gold I'm, I'm giving you the prices of the normal quality not the gold star or, or um, the silver star so you will have probably with the cauliflower uh, a, um, a profit of around 7.9 gold per day so it's not bad but it takes a long time and it only produce, produces you one um, one cauliflower. Um, the next one I would like to talk about is the potato seeds. Now, potato seeds for me are probably the second best um, seeds you can buy for spring. Now, they're not that expensive. They're not the cheapest one, but they are not the most expensive seeds. Um, it will sell for around 80 gold so you buy for you buy the seeds with 50 gold you will sell it around 80 gold um, but the good thing about the potato seeds is that they it only takes um, six days to mature and has a chance to have multiple potatoes when you harvest them so it will not be only one potato per seed it may or may not it depends on your luck I guess it may or may not um, allow you to have more potatoes and therefore increase your profit so you could see around uh, a profit of around 8.3 gold per day now these values I'm telling you guys they are from um, there I saw them on the Stardew Valley wiki uh, where you have all this information and you can see all that stuff now these are the best seeds you can buy on the general store from uh, Pierre's. Um, there's a lot of other products you can buy, like garlic seeds in the second year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, kale seeds and some of the flowers. Um, bean, bean, the bean starter also. But I would say that just focus on these three ones. But I'm not yet done. So... 
to say. Let's go to another place where you guys can also um, you can also have a nice seed for spring. Now, this one is a little bit harder to get, uh, and the main reason is you need to unlock um, one of the bundles uh, from the community center that will fix the bus. And after you fix the buzz, you have access to um, the desert. And on the desert, there's a little shop, and this shop will sell seeds, depending uh, different seeds for different seasons. And I will be showing you guys now. Let's just go there. There we go. It's called the Oasis. So in here. In here you can buy the rhubarb seeds. Now rhubarb seeds they are expensive. They cost you a hundred gold. But the product, you know, the the, the rhubarb, uh, it will cost around two hundred and twenty gold. Now um, this will have a, a profit of around nine point twenty three gold per day because it takes thirteen days to mature. So. This is also very good seed, it's very good for profit if you guys want to try it out. It takes more days than the cauliflower, so it's 13 days um, and it's more expensive. It's probably one of the most expensive uh, seeds you can buy for spring. Um, and also, also it um, it's only available on the Oasis store and you need to unlock it. So for your first year probably you're not going to use this one and um, you understand why it's not the, the 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 bundle that allows you to unlock the, the, the desert um, it's a very uh, expensive bundle basically you have to throw money uh, to unlock the bundles so yeah it takes a little bit of money um, okay guys so Basically, I have done everything on this day, and now I'm going to show you guys. Let me just um, grab something from here. Let's grab this stuff. Um, okay, let's let's sell it. And now I'm gonna sell you. I'm gonna show you guys the best um, the best seed you guys can buy. Now, the best seed you guys can buy is only available on the day 13 of spring that's why I'm recording this video now today on 12 because I was able to show you guys um, some of the seeds that I believe are the best ones for spring and that are um, kind of easy to get um, so tomorrow 13 is the egg festival and in this day you will be able to buy a very specific seed which is the strawberry seeds now strawberry seeds they're expensive uh, they're probably the same price of the rhubarb so that's around a hundred um, a hundred gold and the product itself it sells for each product sells for 112 120 gold so it's not much of a profit in here the good thing about the strawberries is that they um, they do uh, produce more than one uh, time so I will show you guys which is better so let's just turn off the day in here there's nothing much I can do Let's sleep for the night yes now I'm gonna fast forward this stuff in here that I have to do I have to do the, the daily chores so watering some of the stuff that needs to be watering taking care of the animals and all that stuff and wait till 9 9 a.m. for the egg festival Alright guys, so I'm back. I did um, take care of some of my crops like the strawberries, 
um, the axe, potatoes and all that stuff. And now I'm just going to go to the festival because it's getting a little bit late. And I want to show you guys um, what you guys can buy. Okay, so the festival starts at the 13. It's a very nice looking place, you know, there's all this party and all that stuff. So you want to go here to Pierre's and he sells the strawberry seeds. Now the strawberry seeds, like I was saying, it's an amazing seed. It, um, so it allows you to, um, they, they, they're worth 100 gold. It allows you to uh, seed strawberry plant that will, that will mature in 8 days. And um, it will be keeping uh, producing strawberries after that every four days. So uh, it takes eight days to 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 give you the first uh, harvest, and then every four days it allows you that. So there's a secret in here, or there, at least there's two things you guys can do in here. The first one is to uh, be able to at the the next day to plant it and harvest it until the end of spring. And if you do that, you will not have as much profit um, as if you were to seed on the first day of spring. So just to have an idea, after the festival, if you if you planted it, um, it will you will have like a profit per day of around uh, 11 gold. Um, if you seeded it on the first day of uh, spring, you will have a profit per day of 20 gold. So that's like double of the profit. So my recommendation in here is to buy as many strawberry seeds as you guys can, but don't use it on on this year. Uh, buy it for the future, um, plant it, you know, uh, carefully, and buy those strawberry seeds and use it on the next year. So that's gonna be my goal in here. I have a lot of money, so I'm gonna buy. I don't know how many I can buy, but I'm probably gonna buy as many as I can. Like I don't know, 400. So I bought 400, so I spent a lot of money in here, but I had a lot of money also, and I still keep a lot of money in here, in fact. So 400 will give me next year, and maybe the, the year after, because maybe I will forget of, uh, of buying the strawberries, or maybe next year I don't need to buy that many. So anyways, I just bought as many as I wanted, and I'm going to finish the festival. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was useful for you guys. Uh, this is, these are only my uh, opinion as, uh, as a gamer uh, and as amateur gamer. I'm no professional in here. I'm not even that good as a gamer. But I've been playing Stardew Valley for a little, b for a little while. Um, I cannot say I've been playing that much because I don't have that much time. Uh, but uh, from what I played and from what I've seen and researched out there, um, these are definitely the ones I talked to you. I told you guys these are definitely the best ones you can plant for uh, for profit on spring. But don't forget, always plant everything. You're gonna need them eventually for the community bundle, for quests, and also for you know fun. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, don't forget, leave a like, comment, subscribe, it's always welcome, and I will see you guys soon, um, probably next time uh, with another video for Stardew Valley, maybe uh, Summer Seeds. Yeah, that's it guys, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you soon.